1500 more 2000 2500 3000 keep going how can you even wear that oh i'm very nervous <laughs> someone that does not wear designer items. Most of my clothes are either thrifted or they're from like Forever 21 or H&M. Basically this entire outfit is that. I don't know a ton about high-end designers, but I have been seeing more of them recently because I've been making a series about cheap versus expensive clothing. And that has made me a little more interested in the designer world. And I thought, what's it like to wear these clothes for more than just a day? How about wearing them over time? Like, will I feel differently in them? Will it get me more confidence? Is the quality really that much higher? I'm pretty excited and a little nervous to be wearing such high-end items. I might spill stuff down them. So how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna bring in my friend and stylist Taylor and she is gonna put together some amazing looks for me. I am going to go to The Real Real, which is an awesome consignment luxury store in Los Angeles. I also have some awesome items from Poshare, which is a website where you can buy or rent the latest designer fashion. This is gonna be an interesting challenge for me because I don't know what people are gonna think of me. Like I'm gonna be more noticeable, I think, walking around than I usually am. I am trying to up my fashion game a little bit right now. So I think this is kind of the perfect time to try this out. I'm super interested to see if I'm just gonna wear these items and be like, these are overpriced, I don't see the point, or if I'm gonna fall in love with everything, which is gonna hurt my wallet. I'm super excited because I'm personally not putting these looks together, Taylor is, and that's another aspect that I don't usually have in my daily life. So I'm basically about to find out how a bougie b lives for a week. All right, I'm going off to the real world to meet Taylor and she's gonna pick out some items for me. So good to see you again. You too. Thank you so much for bringing me here. I have never been here before. Well, the Real Real is one of my favorite places. It is a luxury authenticated marketplace. They have it online and not just in store. I'm also pretty excited about this place because it's a sustainable option. These are consigned items and it kind of just gets me away from fast fashion for a little bit. All right, I think it's time for you to pick me out some outfits. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Look at this Christian Dior. Ooh, that is this fancy. is adorable. Oh, it feels soft. This is Alexander McQueen. <laughs> we are in my favorite room right now. Ooh. And I think you can see why. There's Gucci, there's Chanel, there's jewelry, there's handbags, there's everything a girl could possibly want. It's very overwhelming. It really is. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Oh, I like that. Oh, I love Ooh. this. This is very unique for Chanel. I feel like it's just a little peekaboo action. Oh, I love this, but that I think will be super short on you. This is so cute. Oh, it's really soft. I thought it's it was gonna so be woolly. We're definitely pulling this for you to try on. I think I need like a skirt of some sort. Cute. Ah, cute. <laughs> I like this one. Oh this my is God. incredible. I've okay. never seen anything so cool. Well, you just grabbed an Alaya, <gasps> my dear. Ooh. So I think I have everything I need from the real real. So let's go ahead and head back to the studio and I have some other pieces from some other places. Let's get these looks together. <gasps> and we're back. Yeah. What do we have? We have some great options for you. I mean, I think like we have some great jacket options, like this BCBG Max Cesaria could look really great over the post share things that we mm -hmm. have here. Mm -hmm. But let's grab your first real, real look. I think it is time to start day one. I think you're right. All right. All right. Off you go. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm in all these items. I am so outside of my comfort zone right now, but I think I look good. Let's find out. Whoa, oh my God. This coat is just out of control. Like, look, it's just all like, wee, wee. This is honestly the coolest thing. I think I need to go show people. Do you think it looks like expensive? Oh, it yeah. Is. yeah. It's yeah. Expensive. yeah. I knew something was up when you walked over. That's what I was like, <laughs> You look like a super villain. I like that. Yeah. Is it the coat or just the whole look? It's the coat. And the coat does a lot of the work. The jacket <laughs> is very like luxury. What's the movie? The Devil Wears Prada? Oh, good morning, Miranda. Yes! I didn't even see that. Turn around. Oh, that's wow. Great. That's nice. This is my favorite part. It feels interesting. I have no idea what is good quality. So it's lunchtime and I'm eating a quesadilla. I am literally eating it so far away like this 
so that I can't possibly get any of these clothes dirty. The thing about these pieces is that the quality of them is so good that you'll be able to wear them for years. I love it all. Yeah. Can I do something what I would do? Yes. Oh, yes, tuck it in. I've been styled again. If I were to do this, I'd be like, I'd wear like a great hoodie underneath. I'd like downplay it. It makes me think of like Lisa so I've been wearing this for a few hours now. It is nice to walk around in. It is less nice to sit and do work in because the skirt is quite tight. There's a reason why I wear very casual stuff to work usually. It's because it's comfortable. But this style does make me feel a lot more elevated than I usually feel. Here's the end of the day and I'm pooped from wearing all those fancy things. I'm just so not used to wearing form-fitting things and high heels. It was fun walking around just feeling expensive. The coat is an liar, and every time I said that word, I just couldn't stop thinking about Clueless. You don't understand, this is an liar. And a what -a? That's like the only reason I've heard of that designer. I'm so useless at designers, so this is really gonna educate me, this video. A successful first day. On to the next. So it's Saturday night and I'm about to get ready to go out for some drinks with my boyfriend. We are probably not gonna go anywhere super fancy, but I'm gonna be wearing something pretty fancy. My boyfriend doesn't really know anything about designers, but he is pretty stylish in how he dresses, so maybe he'll appreciate this. It is a black jumpsuit, classic Ove bodycon style, which is pretty exciting. It is flared, which I'm not used to wearing. I've got a really cool bag with it. Taylor got me this awesome BCBG leather jacket, which I think is gonna tone down the look a bit. So here's the jumpsuit on. It fits pretty well. I feel very 70s. The fabric itself is heavy, so it just feels expensive because of that. I can't wear a bra, but that's fine. It looks good from the front. I'm a little flat chested from the side, to say the least. I've got a couple of rings that Taylor gave me. Boop and some little neon earrings. Okay, so I am no fashion monger, but I will say I think this jacket's too big for me. Unless it's just supposed to be oversized, the arms are rather large. I just don't know if it goes super well with the jumpsuit, but you know what? It definitely dresses it down. Off we go. Hello! Damn, looks good. Really? Yeah. Is this different from what I usually wear? Uh, very much so. I just realized I need to pee, and it's gonna be so insanely hard to get this off. It's gonna take me an hour, goodbye. Do you think I fit in at this restaurant? For sure, unless you were like a dive bar or something like that. It's not so like crazy high end that it's like only belongs on a runway, right? No, definitely not. Especially the jacket, the dress is different. I don't like the jacket very much. <laughs> <laughs> So last night after the store, we just went home, drank wine, and then I got into my pajamas. To be honest, I didn't want to wear the jumpsuit in a house, but it was really cool to wear that designer and to wear such a like figure hugging jumpsuit. But now it is time for brunch, and today's outfit is a Stella McCartney jumpsuit. It might be a little summery for right now since it's fall, but it's LA, and LA is always sunny. This looks a lot more comfortable than the other outfits I've had so far. Honestly, the hardest thing about this whole challenge is just having to wear heels. Like, give me all the designer clothes in the world, just don't make me wear heels, please. So here's the finished look. I really like this. This is super cute, especially with the heels, which I definitely can't walk in. It's very flattering, it gives me a nice shape. The little purse goes really well with it. I love a brunch look, and I think this is definitely like an elevated version of what I would usually wear. We just got our food. Looks lovely. What do you think of my outfit? I think it's very harsh. I'm only wearing designer clothes for a week. Oh. Do you feel rich? I do, I feel pretty expensive. This is so Target. <laughs> it's really, really nice quality. It hangs off you well, and it's not wrinkling. Don't spill on it. You should wear a napkin. Mm, how comfortable. I just realized I uh, have to do manual labor in this outfit. She is giving me back a heater. I took my shoes off. Okay, let's get this in the car. It's keeping it very far away from my body. Luckily this outfit is actually really comfortable. Chloe is on the LA streets with no shoes yeah, on. I don't care. Just so you guys know. Good morning. Okay, so today I am actually wearing jeans, which is a little more what I usually wear. I am wearing a Chanel jacket, which is gonna be nuts. I've never worn anything like it in my life. It's obviously so well thought out. Like the inner lining has a chain not even the outside, you don't even see it. And then I'm also wearing a Chanel shirt underneath. I mean, this is like a more classic outfit than the rest I've tried, I feel like. One thing I'm realizing about this challenge is that to match my outfit, I'm having to really think about my hair and makeup. Sometimes I'll go to work with literally just mascara on. Okay, here's the look. It's a lot. <laughs> 
This jacket has like really big um, shoulders, so I feel like I look like a giant square. I feel like Spongebob, let's be honest. But I do love it. Taylor gave me these heels and these help because it's a bit of a stocky outfit otherwise, I think. So I ended up putting my hair in a low pony. The shoulders with the hair on top were just a little much. I look so fancy. I've just made it more fancy by putting my hair up, but I think it's that thing of like, you just have to lean into it. Off to work. Oh my dear God, I just stepped outside for the first time today and it is boiling hot. And I'm wearing something rather thick. What do you think of my outfit today? I think you look very uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's the shoulder pads make you look like you're yeah. like this. Yeah. You look like a boss today. With the jeans though, it's still like casual cool. You look fancy, but like it's kind of effortless. So this outfit is definitely getting a lot of looks. I definitely have had some double takes happen. The jeans are like so comfortable. The denim on them is so soft, so I totally understand why higher end jeans are a thing. It's very pinkies up. Definitely. <laughs> These vibes are like Meredith and the Parent Trap, where like yeah. you're gonna come like swoop some old rich man. <laughs> you look very nice. You just, something about the luxuriousness of it all feels a little evil. Oh, this is what rich people feel like. Right? Oh, this could be Gossip Girl if you're done. Yeah, you have like a yeah. <laughs> How much do you think the jacket's worth? I don't know, like 500? 500? It's I Chanel. <laughs> okay, 1,000. More. 1,500. More. 2,000. More. 2,500. 3,000. Just keep going. 8,000. It's like 8,300. 8, what the f***? <laughs> How can you even wear that? Oh, I'm very nervous. <laughs> Today, I am wearing Fendi. It's pretty like office appropriate if you worked in a regular office. I work in a very casual office, so dresses and heels are not normal. So I'm gonna feel like a high powered lawyer today, I feel like. I haven't decided what shoe I'm gonna wear yet. Taylor gave me two options. This is not as work appropriate as I thought. There is a lot of chest going on. It's actually a lot sexier than I thought. It's really cute. I put these boots with it because even though they're higher and more standout-ish, they look the best. So I was like, fine. It's very figure hugging. It fits very nicely. I do feel like I should be living in New York in the fall. I'm tired from just putting on all this makeup and jewelry and clothing. I'm so not used to doing this much with my look. Okay, let's go. It's like work, but it, you know, it's got a little like sexiness to mm -hmm. it, which, which I always appreciate. <laughs> So you just walked past me and you said nice things. I did. I was. I said that you look very, very hot today because you do. You were like, wow. Wearing, oh hi. What designer is this? Fendi. Is I love it Fendi. Fendi. Like this is the outfit that you need to go like ask for a reason. I also have like hips forward and it kind of goes like this, and it's like this movement. A little bit hip forward. Yeah. Low. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Throw your throw your back a little bit back more. Oh, okay. Not like that. <laughs> Offices have AC, so I'm wearing a nice little uh, blanket. Not very designery. I love it. Yeah. When I saw you this morning, the first thing I said was, "Okay, then." Hi, right? you look so good. <laughs> this is me checking you out. Okay, bye. Nice. Nice. So everyone has been super positive about this outfit. I'm feeling pretty good in it. I feel like I do look older than I usually do, but in a good way that is like sophisticated. So I got home from work and immediately just threw on one of my comfortable hoodies. I am done. I for sure wouldn't pay the prices of these clothes, to be honest, unless it was like one thing that I desperately wanted that I would save up for. But I do feel like I would go a little higher than I've been going. The idea of wearing more kind of like sophisticated fancy clothes is cool to me. Designer items definitely have their place and I will say if you wear them you will get noticed but right now I just want to curl up with my hoodie and my sweatpants bye